Welcome to the Wide Roller Coupe at Garage Gym Reviews, and today we're gonna to be reviewing the cheapest and most popular squat rack on Amazon. This is the Fitness Reality 810 XLT Power Rack. Okay, I've used it before, but we're gonna bring it in, we're gonna assemble it, we're gonna build it, then we're gonna test it by probably testing the weight capacity and some other crazy stuff. So, let's go get it. This is what it comes in, pretty sweet actually. You gotta remember, this is like 250 bucks on Amazon, including shipping. Okay, see, come over here real quick. I just wanna show everybody, you know, sometimes people go, Coop, you don't look like you lift, things like that. I just wanna show you guys something. Sam, can you tell me what that says right there? It says mechanical lift. Mechanical lift. I just lifted that by myself. I'm not even a mechanic. So just to tell you, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna unbox it, build it, and then review it. Let's do it. Let's get into this bad boy. Let me show you a pro tip really quick here. For all you first timers opening cardboard boxes. If you don't have one of these, obviously this is ideal. However, you can take this strip. It is glued together. And all you do is back pull it. Ah, look at that, isn't that nice? It's like popping bands. Popping popping bands on Benjamins. That's basically what I'm doing here, but I'm doing it on racks. I don't pop bands on Benjamins. I pop bands on racks. Let's go, baby. This is actually, as you guys can see, this is pretty darn good packaging. They've got the corner strips, which is very smart to protect the package. For a Amazon package that this was free shipping, the rack is so compact in this thing. I bet I'm gonna open this thing. It's just gonna be like crammed. Very smart packaging on there. Sam! Dude. <laughs> wow. Come in here. Every piece on this thing has corner braces with cardboard and has a, you know, saran wrap package. That's pretty good. The reason they do that protect the corners, obviously protect bending and everything like that, but also so you don't get a ton of marks on the actual product. Wasn't expecting that, it's pretty good. Done, time. 13 seconds. Sweet, oh man, that's the fastest I've ever put a rack together. Okay, this is the fitness gear, fitness reality, pro gear, there's so many different names for this because there's so many different companies like selling this exact same made in China rack. But the idea is this bad boy is 250 bucks. Now you can see it in all its glory. Okay, so I'm gonna go into a review, give you an idea on it. I've used this rack many times from other companies and with friends that have it, but I'm gonna go through, through a review and then we're gonna do a weight capacity test because it says it can hold 800 pounds and we're just gonna see how much weight it can hold. Now, I do wanna say something. I wanna show you this because this is a very you know fun little thing. All right, hold on. This is the cutest J-cup I've ever seen in my life. Look how cute that thing is, man. And just to show you an example, this is you. This is the guy she told you not to worry about, which is me. So, look at that. Look at that, oh my gosh, it's just, it's so cute, you know? You kinda wanna kinda like, it's like it almost comes from like a Barbie doll house or something, you just put it in, oh, I'm gonna lift my little weights. But this is the reality, this bad boy can hold a lot of weight, and we're gonna find out exactly how much. So this is the Fitness Reality 810 XLT. I don't know why they call it the XLT or XL or anything. I think XLT actually stands for extra large tall, which like, I'm like six foot five, and this is not that much taller than me. I'm actually five foot nine, and this is not that much taller than me. Um, however, there is some benefits to this design. One, if you're a basement dweller and have short ceilings, this is the perfect size rack. Two, they maximized the amount of basically clearance that you could have for a really cheap rack. Basically what they were trying to do, I know this because I've kind of been involved in some of this discussion, is they try to box these 
racks as small and compact as possible so that you can have as cheap as shipping as possible. So that box that they sent it in is probably about to the maximum that you can get without having like an overcharge or something like that. So because of that, they're trying to like make this as short as possible. However, they did do something that was very smart and adding a multi-grip bar that comes up ahead. So as you can see, although I can't like really go fully extend it, like my feet are touching the ground. If I just lift my legs a little bit, which, you know, a very minor inconvenience, there's definitely worse things to complain about. I can do a full stretch pull-up or the multi-grip bar, same thing. I just lift my legs just a little bit, I can do a pull-up, which is nice. And that brings me into the other point, and that is stability. This rack is not the most stable, right? Like it's using, I don't, I don't, they don't list the gauges on this kind of rat, on these racks. I can just, you know, feel, I've got, I can feel the air, right? Okay, so, yep, 11 gauge. Yep, not 11 gauge. <laughs> Pretty scientific there. That, this is probably like a 14 gauge rack, I would guess, somewhere around there. However, for most people, an 11 gauge rack is absolutely overkill. And the person that's gonna buy this is not the person who's lifting 800 pounds. And even if you are, I would guess that the possibility to do that is there. The reason is because of how stable it is. As you can see, this bad boy is not, you know, here to like break any world records as far as like the stability that goes on here. Like just show you this example. Like the thing's not going anywhere, right? This thing's flopping all over the place. But for the person who isn't lifting a ton of weight, this is gonna make you feel comfortable enough. And this is the other benefit that comes with this is it's got everything all in one. And not only that, very similar to some popular rep racks like the PR5000, the PR4000 that feature a lat pull down down the middle. This, which this one came out before those, so they may even got the idea from this, has a lat pull down attachment option that goes on the back, a plate loaded option. It's not like a super nice option, but it's a gr I think it's a great option for a compact form that's super cheap. It just goes on the back. So these stability bars here, as you can see, just add some rigidity to a less than stable rack. It's not ideal to have these here because it doesn't allow you to like walk through the rack, which is something that's kind of nice about certain racks. If you like bolt them to a platform or something like that, it's nice to walk through it. However, when you're getting under here under a bar, it's not really going to be that much in the way unless you're like super tall. And even then, like, you know, when you're squatting, you can like dip under the bar to launch it out without feeling super uncomfortable. But the other benefit to that, to this, is it is a power rack, which means it can use safety spotters. And the safety spotters they're using are a solid metal rod. They're not like hollow. So these are going to prevent you from dying, basically. These aren't like gonna prevent your barbell from scarring or anything like that. But if you have this level of rack, you know, not to judge anybody, but you probably don't have like a super expensive barbell that you're worried about the knurling. You're more doing it for the function less than the form. So because of that, this isn't like a, a device that's going to protect your bar or anything, but it is going to protect your body from dying, which is a nice thing. So there you go, it's secure, which you can then use for curls or, you know, you could use it for pin pulls or you could easily use it as J-cups on the front of the rack if you'd like, but then that allows you to bench and squat with protection inside. Now it is using one inch holes right here. So the one inch holes on a, this is a probably a 1.25 by 1.25 rack or something like that. It's a very thin upright. It's not like a three by three like we're used to seeing. However, it can still take some one inch accessories, which is kind of a funny idea because you can use this say a Sornex J cup that really, these cost more than this entire rack right here. It's kind of funny, actually, now that I think about it, contemplating my life choices. However, you can see it just like still fits. So these wouldn't be something I would, you know, buy specifically for that, but something that you could use for it are attachments like these that really don't even work on 5 8 inch racks. They, you can't even find these for a 5 inch inch rack, leg rollers like this. However, you could use that on the 810 XLT. That's a pretty cool idea. I like that. But as you can see, it's quite stable. It's got a multi-grip pull-up bar on top, which is nice. That allows you to do, you know, varied grips. If you want to do chin-ups or wide pull-ups or even a close multi-grip, 
it's a nice function that, you know, isn't something they'd have to add. It's actually an add-on or an additional price for most racks that this comes standard. The additional price for lat pull-down really like doubles the price of the rack, but at 250, you're looking at maybe 450 or so with the lat pull-down, pretty good deal. And that includes shipping. It's got these plastic feet on the front and also a plastic on the bottom. This mainly allows it to level out, which is okay. And other than that, that's pretty much what you're looking at. It's a flat foot rack. So since it's a flat foot rack, you can put it just about anywhere, whether you're in a home gym or a garage gym. There's no places to bolt it down. So obviously they're not recommending it being bolted down because you can't even do it. However, I don't think you necessarily need to, and the reason is because of the flat foot rack. In fact, we did a review on the Omni Rack, which is like a really expensive flat foot rack. One of the reasons that it's kind of nice is because you don't have to bolt them down. They're much more stable than just a rack that used posts because it goes out farther, and then that beam is running all against the ground the entire way, and that beam is the same gauge steel as the uprights, which is nice. Now, before I give you my recommendation on who I recommend this for, let's kind of see what it looks like with a bar on and some weight. We're at 315 pounds. 315 pounds is like for squat, kind of a initial gold standard for people squatting. You know, then it goes to 405, 495, that sort of thing like builds up. But I'd say 315 is quite a bit for a lot of people, you know, training at home. Not for me, obviously, but for people training at home. Just to show you out of the rack. Into the rack. You thought I was gonna squat that, didn't you? Not right now, I'm not warmed up. Okay, so as you can see, there's some wobble here, but this is an 800 pound capacity rack. And so if we just leave it at the 315 pounds, we wouldn't be doing all of you justice. So today, we're gonna keep adding. Let's do it. We're getting some wobble. I think the biggest worry would be it falling backwards that way, but because it's got that flat foot right there, I think we'll be fine. Woo! Okay, that's 495 right there. 495 pounds. But wait, there's more. We must do more. That's a, that's a lot of weight. You can see the barbell is bending. This 190K tensile strength bar. It is 28 millimeters, so it's not like a power bar, 29 millimeters. But these J-cups, due to the extra beam underneath them, they're looking okay. I'm a little bit nervous walking under that thing, actually. But it's not, it's not tipping or anything. I think we do more. I think we, we, there's some room on the bar. I think we do at least one more. 100 pounder right on the edge too. Okay. You're good. Wow. Wowzer. That's what I'd say. This is what we got. 135, 225, 315, 405, 495, 585, 675, plus 200. Is that 875? 875. We exceeded the capacity. Look at that thing. That is absolutely positively ridiculous. That, my friends, is a $250 rack from Amazon, shipped to my door for free. That is... That's impressive. Would I lift that? I wouldn't want to. Would I walk under it? I'm not going to. But I have enough confidence to put it on there and leave my beloved Titan Fitness leg extension slash leg curl, worst name in the world, nothing creative about it, but leg extension slash leg curl underneath it in its wake. Not only is it heavy, this is 100 pounders on the edge too, so it's like even more bendy. Let's just do a little shake test. All right, and you thought we were gonna stop there, no. We've gotta do a drop, just kidding. If you'd actually like to see us do a drop, we may do a drop, but if you'd like, I, I don't know, if you'd like to see one, let me know in the comments and we may do one in the future. If you wanna do one, let me know in the comments and there's enough of them, I think we may do one. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, we've just, 
disassembled the 800 plus pound off the rack. I think the biggest reason to show that is like, you don't need to be scared of these racks. Would I suggest squatting 900 pounds on a $250 <laughs> XLT rack? No, which again, I hate that name, XLT. It's, nothing about this is XL or T. However, I think it's nice to actually do, be realistic. The reason it's nice to do is to give you confidence in buying something like this. I wouldn't suggest lifting that much, but what I can say is you can have some confidence despite it being a cheap rack that it's gonna hold what you can you know, use. And that's kind of the thing, it's like, 11 gauge three by three, do we need that big sturdy of a rack? No, you're not buying that. Nobody is really buying that for like function purposes. It's nice for all the attachments, everything like that, but honestly, like the weight that it can hold, like nobody really needs that amount. So what I will say, 250 bucks shipped to your door for this rack, for some people is nice. If you're on a super budget, this is a rack I can somewhat recommend. I would recommend that more people save up and get a nicer rack and a nicer barbell, but there are people that are probably stronger than me out there that are lifting way more weight than me on this rack and doing so just fine. This is what we have to remember in strength training. A thousand dollar barbell is not gonna get you any stronger than a hundred dollar barbell. It's how you use it. It can help you get to that point, but what you really need is mental motivation and you need consistency and a lot of drugs. Okay, never mind, forget the drug. But you need a lot of nutrition and things like that. So I'd recommend this rack to a certain person that's on a super budget. However, I was pleasantly surprised that that could hold that weight. All right, this is Coop from Garage and Reviews. Would you like to see more of the budget reviews? We get questions all the time. Coop, you just do the expensive stuff. I'm trying to do more budget stuff. Would you like to see more of it? Let me know in the comments. Would you like to see us do a drop test? Let me know in the comments. We'll see you next time. Peace.